guys, it's Justine Beauty and Call Me Blondie. Welcome back to Vlogmas. Um, I, it is so early in the morning, but I just did Walmart grocery pickup and I wanted to show you they gave me some freebies. They gave me this Happy Holidays bag and with a bunch of stuff inside. Okay, so first off, a little Smart Food White Cheddar Popcorn, Sweet Tarts Sour Rope Spice, um, a little Ghirardelli Caramel Chocolate, and then they gave a Glade plug-in, but none of like the scents that go inside, which is kind of lame. I already get the um, Febreze plug-ins, so I guess when I run out of those, instead of buying a Febreze plug-in, I'll try like Glade next time, because I won't have to pay for this part, um, especially if I'm going to buy a Febreze scent anyways. And then these two little olive oil samples. And then a ranch packet, which I already... Um, buy these all the time so it'll be nice to have another and then this is so lame they gave you they gave me this and I thought like oh they gave me like a little gift card or something but it's just like you can go online put an amount on the gift card and gift it to someone else but I want to try this Sprite spiced winter spiced cranberry I love the normal spice uh, the normal Sprite cranberry um, so I want to try that one today and then some other like fun things chocolates that i got for my son's teacher i also got the red winter oreos and then i picked up this the sparkling rosé the welsh sparkling rosé the non-alcoholic it is grape juice i like the grape sparkling ciders more than the other sparkling cider flavors and so um and this one is a grape flavor so i thought i'd pick this up and try it i'm not sure if it's actually gonna like taste like rosé or if it's just more like a pink grape sparkling cider but either way i'll be happy with it oh and then the walmart grocery thing also gave me a little coupon book but yeah that's it and then also um i showed you in the last vlog these flowers my husband got me and last night um after i filmed that last clip for the last vlog I went ahead and like trimmed them and put them on here. Ignore this mess of a table. We celebrated my daughter's birthday yesterday. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I want to vlog for now. Okay guys, so it is almost midnight. I just finished wrapping all of these presents. My back hurts so bad from being like hunched over wrapping presents, but I got everything wrapped um, like for everybody, minus my kids' pajamas that they open up on Christmas Eve because I threw those in the washing machine. That way they'll be clean before they wear them, but oh my goodness, it is a mess in here right now. I also wanted to quickly show you my son's school had like a little elf shop this week and so he got to pick out a present um well i sent him to school with money but like with the money he got to pick out a present for everybody in the family and that's just so cute and he's so excited for everybody to open them he wanted us to open them like right away i told him let's try to wait till christmas um and then i have a couple more things i want to show you guys so it's kind of a mess in here, I know, but my son's having a class party and I signed up to donate candy because um, they're going to make gingerbread houses and it has been so hard not to eat these the past couple days. We got Mike and Ike's, two things of sweet tarts and two things of truly trees. I thought those would be good because they're like not allergy. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think anyone in his class has like a chocolate or a peanut allergy. I'm sure the teacher would tell everyone if they did, but I wanted to grab like allergy free type of candies just in case. And oh my gosh, these just look so dang good. I've been trying not to eat them all week. And then I also have here, let me cover her name, his teacher's gift here. 
all wrapped up and we are just ready for we're ready for the holidays it's almost time it's we're in the final stretch till christmas i also wanted to show you guys if you have disney plus they have an arendelle castle yule yule log like from frozen we are going to be playing this on christmas morning while we open presents like it's just like a fireplace and i know um a lot of people will play like a fireplace on their tv christmas morning i think we actually did that last year i know i did it in like my decor tour last year um just for the aesthetic for it but we are going to be playing elsa and anna's fireplace this year for christmas i think the kids are going to lose their shit they don't know about it yet they're sleeping right now i haven't showed them yet i'm going to wait till christmas morning to put it on uh, but isn't that just so cool? So I'm obsessed. I wanted to share it for those of you who don't know about it yet um, And yeah, and then there's one other thing I wanted to show you guys. I know I'm just like showing you guys a bunch of Christmas Christmas crap tonight, but like it's almost Christmas and I got all, it's basically all that's on my mind Okay, last thing I finally finished our Christmas cards. Well, they came in the mail and then I finally finished putting addresses and stuff on them and I put the stickers on them like I was talking about in the last vlog just some holiday stickers and so I'm gonna go ahead and send these out um, just another thing I've been working on guys so I got a little bit of a haul um an Amazon haul let's see I got three things off of Amazon recently let me go get the other thing so first thing is I talked about this whoa this light is super orange there is that better I put up an umbrella light I don't know but um the first thing is, I talked about this in my Black Friday haul, but I ordered these blue light glasses off of Amazon. And basically what they are is they're like, I honestly don't know really how they work, but um, they're supposed to protect your eyes if you like stare at like a screen all day. So if you work on computers, they're like supposed to help your eyes and help prevent like strain on your eyes. Um, and so... Um, when I heard about them, I thought I'd try them out since I do YouTube and I'm at a computer editing a lot. So you can kind of see the, the glass has kind of like a blue reflection to it. Like they're different than normal like fake eyeglasses like these ones for example. Which I have like these are just fake clear eyeglasses just to be cute. And you can see like the glass on them like doesn't really have like a blue reflection whereas the glass on these ones kind of have a blue reflection which are like meant to protect your eyes um, from computer screens so I got those and then I also got this eyeliner off Amazon and it is the kind that has like a wing stamp on it I've been doing winged eyeliner a lot lately. I kind of took a break from it, but I can never get my wings even. So, um, it's from Eye Method Beauty. It comes with two pens, one for your left side, one for your right side, and then on each side, I'm just going to open one of them. Each side has the stamp. I don't even know if you can see the stamp. And then each side has a pen, like a normal eyeliner pen. So I'm going to try these out. I've been thinking of doing like a Face Friday reviewing them. Um, but I don't know if I want to do like a first impressions or if I should like use them for a while and then give a review. 
I'll probably use them for a while and then give them a review because like I kind of want to use them right away. And then the last thing I got are just some like hoop nose rings. I've actually purchased this these same ones before and I cannot find where I put them. And watch, now that I've repurchased them, I actually got them like in March. Um, and I used them for a while, can't find them. And I guarantee now that I've like repurchased the same ones, I'm going to find my old ones. Um, so they come in this like little bag. Then it comes with five nose rings. It comes with a black, a gold, a rose gold, a silver, and then kind of like a rainbow one. I don't know which one I'm going to use first. Maybe the black one. So I'm wearing a black dress on Christmas. Um, but yeah, and then the dress I'm going to wear on Christmas, since we're talking about it, since I brought it up, is right here. Um, it's not super Christmassy, it's just like this like knitted dress. It's from um, Shop Pink Blush. I got it from them when I did that like Black Friday collaboration with them. This light is like bugging me. Is it really even helping? Yeah, I guess it is helping. But I don't really know. I kind of want to like, since it is just a black dress, I kind of want to make it a little more festive. Should I wear like red shoes with this? Should, like I was thinking red shoes and red lips. Let me know what you guys think. I was thinking of doing that to make it a little more festive or should I just like leave it plain black with like some black heels? I don't really know. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that little Amazon haul. Just in case you guys were interested, keep an eye out for a Face Friday for this. I also have like a bunch of other Face Fridays I want to do. For example, I have this Santa Fe palette that I got like in November that I haven't even touched yet because I want to film a Face Friday on it. Um, and I literally have it right here because I want to do the video. I haven't done the video yet. And then same thing, I have like these Rooted Beauty products. I haven't started using them yet though because they're skincare products and I've been kind of like just into my own skincare routine lately um, and I've been keeping my skincare routine like kind of simple um, which you guys will see actually in my like pamper I'm doing like a winter pamper routine that video will be up this week actually and so my skincare has been kind of simple but a lot of face Fridays come in you know up I might even like just have to start doing multiple makeup videos a week, which is totally fine. But the reason I started Face Fridays is because I noticed I was like not doing a lot of makeup videos and kind of lost my, I don't know, like drive and passion for it. So I started doing Face Fridays so I would get that passion back. And now I'm like, I have so many ideas of stuff I want to review and talk about. So anyways, that's it for now. I need to clean my house. I'm thinking of clean, doing a clean, filming a clean with me. Um, if not today, sometime soon. But um, yeah, that's it for now. See you guys in a bit. Hello everyone. It is raining like crazy today. I've been so sleepy today and I think it's the weather. I mean like it always rains here, but today it's been like non-stop so hard. So I've just been like so sleepy today. So I went to Target and I got a four pack of Monsters because coffee just is not cutting it, especially with as little sleep as I'm getting um, with the baby. I haven't had an energy drink in so long and like I can already smell this and it smells like college. Yeah, it tastes like college too, because that's pretty much how I got through my junior year was with energy drinks, and then I was pregnant my senior year, so I stopped drinking them, and I haven't really drank them since, but um, yeah, I haven't vlogged in a few days, so just wanted to give you guys an update. I think I'm going to film a clean with me today, so hence this, because I'm going to need some energy to get this house clean, but that's it for now. Okay, so I just took my hair out of a bun because I wanted to braid it, but look at it. I feel like it looks so cute. Like, look at those waves. Usually my waves are like crazy when I take it out of a bun. But that's like actually really cute. It's all voluminous. But I wanted to share. Also, the color looks really nice today. Um, I wanted to share. Um, let me switch the camera around. 
So I've been having like a really itchy scalp lately. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like a postpartum thing. I googled if it was a postpartum thing and there was like, there were some like answers on Google that said, yeah, that can happen, but there wasn't a whole lot. But um, I went ahead and got some like head and shoulders. I got this itchy scalp care shampoo with eucalyptus. The eucalyptus in this is so, so strong, by the way. Like usually with shampoos with eucalyptus, it's like a slight eucalyptus scent. This one is like so strong. Like it smells just like eucalyptus oil. Then I also got this one, dry scalp care conditioner. And I put this on my scalp I um, when I did my hair last night. Um, I don't usually put conditioner on my scalp unless I'm like toning my hair with a purple conditioner. Um, and even then I don't put it on my scalp, but I put it close. But before I did that, I read online that like tea tree oil could help with an itchy scalp because it like if it's if your scalp is itchy because of like a bacteria or something, it can help kill that. So I mixed um, tea tree oil right here um, from Amazon with rosehip oil because tr tea tree oil you need to dilute. Um, so I mixed it with rosehip oil. This is like a cheap tea tree oil though that I got on Amazon. So I honestly don't know how much you need to dilute it because I think it's pretty diluted already, but I'm like, I'm still not gonna risk it. So I still diluted it with rosehip oil. I put that on my scalp. I left it on for probably about 30 minutes. And then I took a shower and washed with like that shampoo and conditioner and it really, really helped. And I feel like my hair looks so like soft because like I scrubbed my scalp. Um, cause I really, I just like, if it was like, um, if it is itchy cause it's like dry, I just wanted to make sure that like it's exfoliated and stuff. So I was like scrubbing my scalp and I feel like my hair looks like the cleanest it's ever been. Um, but I think what I'm going to start doing at least for the next while, um, until it's no longer itchy, I'm going to, um, stop using dry shampoo and stop blow drying my hair. Cause I just don't want to like make it more dry than it needs to be. And then I already don't wash my hair for like maybe every three to four days. So I'm just gonna keep doing that. And so if you see me walking around with greasy hair, that's why, because I'm trying to take care of whatever's going on. And my husband, I was worried I had lice. My husband checked me, he said no lice. Also, everyone in this house shares hair brushes. So if I had it, pretty sure the kids would have it too. I'm pretty sure it's like a dry scalp, probably from postpartum. I've never had an itchy scalp before, but I really hope it's just like a postpartum thing and it'll like go away eventually. But yeah, I just wanna let you guys know what I'm doing for that in case um, anyone else is having the same problem or similar problems. I'm just so obsessed with the way my hair looks, but I'm about to clean and I don't want it in my way when I'm cleaning. Look how long it's getting. I don't know why, but this color just looks so good today. Like, I don't know if like maybe the shampoo and conditioner or something did something for it. Probably putting all those oils on my hair probably helped it last night. I put, I mostly put the oils on my roots, but um, I did put some like throughout it. Maybe that's it. Um, that's making the, it's just making my hair look healthier. And I'm thinking it's making the color look nice. But yeah, but I'm gonna clean, so. I want to put my hair in braids before I clean, otherwise it's going to get in the way. So, oh, that's it for now. <laughs> okay guys, so today is the first official day of winter break. We haven't been doing anything all day. It's actually like 5 p.m. and I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here so I can edit it. But yeah, we've just been having a lazy day sitting around watching movies and um and that's really it i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.